Hello and welcome. You are watching IndianExpress.com, and the controversy over Pakistani actors working in Indian films took a new twist today. With filmmaker Rak Kashyap asking Prime Minister Narendra Modi to apologize for his trip to Pakistan last year, the same time when Fawad Khan was shooting for Adi Hai Mushkil, the film directed by Karan Johar. Much has happened after Kashyap's tweet, and to discuss this, we have uh, Miman Shah. Miman Shah, just take us through all that has happened after Anwar Kashyap. Uh, uh, it seems like this entire controversy around Adina Mushkin and the ban on the Pakistani artists just doesn't seem to die. So we and we woke up to this new uh, new entire episode in the morning when they saw Andhra Kashyap sending some tweets addressing it to the Prime Minister of India, asking him to apologize, uh, seeking an apology for a trip that was that took place almost a year back to Pakistan, and then asking him to apologize in the context of this entire ban. So I think that it it is like. Pushing and dragging the issue a little too far because I think we saw that the Cinema Association has already made yeah, its yeah. decision that it will be in, yeah, in four Indian states. So I think I mean when uh, asking such a thing from the Prime Minister has it's not making much sense because I mean what uh, because most of the yeah. actors have tweeted in support of Adila Mushkil but exactly. nobody has actually got Modi yeah. into this. And some things are not I mean this is not uh, like something that the government or the Prime Minister has anything to do with. I mean that's what I think even uh, when. Uh, this uh, Madhu Bhandarkar, when he actually reacted and slammed Kashyap for, for his tweet, he said the same thing that it was a decision from a from the, from the association. Then uh, why drag the prime minister into it? And I think uh, I mean uh, we have already this is more of a deja vu situation where we saw that Uta Punjab Kashyap's earlier film film earlier this year. He had asked the prime minister to get involved in that entire controversy. Yes. Uh, yeah, Armin, yeah. So I think he has this uh, habit and tendency of uh, asking, taking, taking it to the uh, to the prime minister. So yeah. and as you mentioned, Madhu Bhandarkar, yeah. actually the industry looks quite divided over this yeah. whole issue yeah. because Ajay Devgan, who is still Shiva, is also releasing on the True. same day when uh, Adila Mushkil is releasing, and he has actually expressed his support. Uh, in uh, for the ban of Pakistani yeah. actors, he, yeah. he has actually said that country comes first. So yeah. why do you think that this uh, the whole industry is divided? Why the difference of opinion? See, firstly, I think that it's it's, it's like a win-win situation for uh, Ajay Devgan because we saw when the trailer of Adila Mushkil came out, how he kind of created the entire he created or whatever. I mean, we we are nobody to comment, but yeah, the KRK controversy yeah. came and then he said that he took uh, so and so amount of money to demean the film and all. So ultimately, at the end of the day, I mean, we have I mean, if we go back in time. We we have seen that Ajay Devgan in a way had kind of uh, not supported, but yeah, he has campaigned for BJP yeah, and then something coming from the government side. So there is a possibility that he has, he wanted, he said the statement. And then uh, regarding the controversy, uh, I mean, the two two sides have come up because it is more like, I mean, they say that no art art has no border, that it should travel. So there are like a, there are people who are supporting the band who basically want to encourage the Indian talent on the screens. But then there are people, the producers, who have actually invested a lot in these actors. Like there are big ticket films like Prabhat Khan was like he was supposed to sign or he had signed, we heard that he had signed some Salman Khan project and then Karan was next and then Mahira Khan was uh, debuting with Shah Rukh Khan. So they, the, a lot of money was riding on these actors, is riding. I mean, so it is very it it is it is fine. Those people who were supporting uh, the uh, these artists to see from their point of view, it, it was like they must be thinking from their profit point of view. The other people who, who supported the band, they were trying to support the Indian talent. So I think it's like a situation to each one his own. So I mean that's why there's a complete demarcation between like the two sides and then they are I think this whole controversy is going to affect the business of both this film Shiva and Adila Mushkin because the cinema association has already yeah. decided not to release. So yeah. do you think commercially it will affect the business of See, it's like all publicity is good publicity. We saw how what happened with Urza Punjab and ultimately they, they had they just didn't require to go for promotion, they, they didn't do any city tour, they just and just a day before the day they held a press conference. So I think I mean then we saw that the film did well. So ultimately it Adina Mushkil has definitely made a mark in the minds of people. So if they like it or they don't, they will definitely watch it. And then Shivai has a different kind of audience altogether. So I mean uh, Maybe it will it will benefit in the four states where the film Adil Mushkil if it actually doesn't end up releasing there, it uh, there Shivai will have an upper hand. Otherwise, uh, Adil Mushkil I think because of the whole glossy glossiness around the film, the big big banner, the actors, the star cast, the all the all the buzz around the film. I think 
that is a little more than Shiva. So wherever the that this current short film will release, I think there it will have an upper hand. Thanks, Vimansa. Well, hope, well, we hope that Air Dilla Mushkil and Shivai both do fare well at box office. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Minuscus.com.